version of Seep and Circling that did for a fair bit is about shotgun gunpowder. Why not to load it into these? And today I'm gonna show you because I'm not gonna go into details, but I wanna see the results for myself, so stick around. Alright, so for the sake of this test, I've emptied the gunpowder in around 308 cartridges and a hell of a lot more shotgun shells. This is around 70, 75, somewhere in between, because there's actually a lot less gunpowder in a shotgun cartridge compared to a 308. So the next thing on the list, build a basic rig. I think this one is gonna serve our cause, because it's got three rails, so I'm gonna use the outer ones to keep some distance in between, so it won't get any misfires. And I think it's gonna be good. All right, so this is the supposed rig. It looks very scientific, I might say. Two balloons. I'm gonna put a gunpowder down there, and we'll see how far it goes. Important to note here is that I have not measured these by weight. Uh, these are measured by volume, and it's around two deciliters of each. And I'll be using rifle powder for the fuse, but the mount leads up to them both roughly the same. And here we go. Notice the clear difference in the way the two burnt. The one on the left is a lot more shard. On the right, not as much. <laughs> 